on this one here, I will go fold you onto the movement, onto the Tai Chi again the boxing. If you haven't watched this video already, watch it first. Then you can see the idea what we're talking about. The weight, the size different. So you can see the idea. A lot of them doing the movement on Tai Chi again boxing and they're thinking that the boxing come and mess around with you. The boxing gonna knock your stupid face out if you don't understand in a basic understanding. Let me show you here so you can understand the basic idea. Let me you ask. The idea of the boxing come along. Boom, boom. If you don't have the idea of this movement that we mentioned in early, each one of them land. You lost your stupid face. Not alone when try to try to thinking that you can mess around the Tai Chi side to do it. You have to understand the basic principle of the Tai Chi to make this kind of movement work. Now let me show you here some of the movement. If you haven't watched this particular video on explain to you the hand already, I will show you some of the movement that you can use on it. The boxing goes straight, so you can chop cross coming in, it's a attack like this, you see? The first, the first in, I have to move. If it's stand, I will get knocked in the face. Okay, you cannot try to try to do that and try to do that Wow, the pun coming in because to pass your face your face will be back like this and break your damn neck So when you're working with this kind of movement here learn to understanding what Tai Chi do and what Tai Chi don't Okay, then you practice you can get the idea because the boxer you don't need to do a lot of uh, training They can only need about I don't know three uh, months of training They can bust your stupid Tai Chi face in because Take a long time and you don't understand how the Tai Chi work. So let me show you here when you practice the Tai Chi movement so you can understand the basic idea. So jab cross hook coming in, line up your hands, body. Soon the body you got control and using the certain part of the body to attack, like the shoulder for instance. So the line of it that comes here, that comes here, here, the body coming inside like that. Or sometimes when you're coming into the movement, here, here, body coming out direct body in line like this to be able to control and using the line attack in the center provide you can get inside them to using the movement of the body if you can't get inside them this is a big problem so you've got to learn the control and understanding the, the movement of it so when you come attack again that movement line coming in line control this hand here can be like that so this is where a lot of things you see the arm a lot of this movement can be straight away and breaking arm control from here and then palm before you push or you just palm <coughs> like that to attack in a ribcage it all depends how you use the movement okay it's all you, you can able to make the movement work but the most important thing you got understanding is when a, the, the punch of movement of the boxer they have four main weapons so jab cross <coughs> hook main weapon hook <coughs> to the head <coughs> The main weapon they're using. So all this is the main weapon, okay? Like uppercut coming in, a lot of this kind of movement here. Yeah. If there any if any kind of movement here will land, uppercut land, you will have a big problem. Okay, big problem. It's very powerful. A lot of this movement like jab cross coming here, a lot of this movement, if it land, is a big problem. So learning to understand this, you get few things. You've got to learn to control the line quickly, enough, <coughs> control here. Then this hand from here, you haven't got that in you straight away, you break the neck. But because of this, you have your hand here, <coughs> you can body the movement coming to able overflow. So the line of it, when the hand comes, you need to move fast enough, see? Fast enough here, to straight to the throat here, to pass them up quickly, okay? Now how fast can you work? is how quickly your footwork and apply the movement you've been practicing the movement on the line the hand on the leg with power with the movement onto the rhythm of your body to come into attack so the attack coming inside here is a lot of time coming, like that, coming straight away to attacking by the neck and get rid of them this is very important another thing the Tai Chi news a lot it's a lot of body like the shoulder bump coming attack coming in here the shoulder bump body arm so they're breaking arm easily control yeah from here so it's easy for you to palm easy for you to cut the flow easy for your leg easy for you to come into this soon you get into this situation the boxing side cannot use the body yeah it's difficult to use so this is why you a lot of using for like uh, pushing one side the whole idea is your open space here, okay? It's very difficult 
for you to using the optical to slam them in. So you have to make sure you move. So attack coming in line is a lot of movement. You've got to make sure you can like, get rid of them that way. You try to move your body out of the way, the line of it move out of the way like this. Okay? So soon you get hold of them, then easy for you to attack, like that movement, attack from here, easy for you to change. If you hook come on that side, easy for you to change. Hook with this side, easy for you to change. Okay? All this thing here is using a lot onto the Tai Chi side to helping you to learn to understand. Some movement like then can be used straight away. Attack like this, arm break straight away from here, like this coming in. So a lot of this arm here to break. Okay, control like that up here, or control that way, and then bring this hand out. The hand coming already, a lot of this kind of movement. <laughs> a lot of this kind of movement to uh, deal with your opponent. And sometimes when you're working with this movement here, a lot of time when the hand coming here is like body forward like this, so you're breaking the arm, okay, and then control here, and then the body is coming like that. Okay, now if you come in like that, if you hit from here, if you hand already come across, hang the same, the same, moving the same. The weight, the power will be applied like this. Okay, finger that. That's the basic idea of the movement onto the, the Tai Chi side and getting the boxing. If the good boxer, you will find problem because they're moving around, they will attack you. If you're good at Tai Chi, you're able to overcome you them easily, a little here, bit if you, you understand them. Here, but you control, if you're training you and you're thinking, you practice from Tai from Chi can able, able, the able to like deal with a boxer. It's very unlikely if you don't understand how to use it. Because they will have only few weapons all day long to practice. Tai Chi spend a lot of time practice all this kind of movement. All the time on the hand position, all this kind of movement. It's a lot to do with the health side when you practice that. A lot of movement on the Tai Chi, okay? It's a lot to do with health, body, movement. A lot of that they're doing practice nowadays. One thing you need to understand, we live into the West here. Everyone when we're using punching, boxing. They don't use Kung Fu on it. So for the Tai Chi side, it find a little bit difficult to use it if you don't understand it. This is important to understand. It's not about the style, it's about the person, how good you are to use it. If you're thinking that boxing is no use, boxing is very good in the combat to be used. So spend some time to practice. Got any comment, anything you want to ask me, I will be here to answer the question. I will see you on the next lesson.